let's just say you just ended a song. So a song has just been ended. Um, you just ended that song I was playing. I was playing Grateful. So I just, uh, let's just say that I just ended that song and the congregation is still in worship. So a couple of things that you can do in there that I think it's important for me to pull out in this training that I, I, I want to break down for you. I'm playing this chord right here, which is which is essentially a C sharp minor chord, but I'm playing it over a A flat bass. I'm playing it over the one. I'm in the key of of A flat. So you want to be able to execute this. And not only do you want to be able to play those two chords, you want to be able to play them in various inversions. Same chord, just playing it a different version. Let's play it another version. So I'm just gonna play those two chords. I'm gonna play them over a A flat bass, and let's listen to it with, while, while the groove is playing. This is stuff that you want to work on. This stuff that you want to practice. All I was doing was the same thing. And there I added a little something to my left hand. I added that five to my left hand. So, which is the E flat. So make sure you, you got that. You can see my fingering. So here. I can do something like that. Melodies. I can do. Let's try that melody right here. And just doing simple tweaks, we can make that even sound better. So we can do. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna change the bass. It's gonna make a difference. did that time was I changed my bass so da, 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 da. when I got to the E flat I changed my bass to that C so and the thing that's making this work is that is this uh, partly the sounds that I'm using the chords sound amazing uh, and they're basic chords, and I now nah, not amazing because they're my chords. These are not my chords. These are the these are chords that you know a, a lot of people use all, all the time. But but what makes it sound even more powerful is having the sounds layered. And I have an electric piano. I have a string, and now I'm going to put a pad underneath, and the pad is going to add an extra layer of warmth to it. <laughs> Play the groove. You can play this in a worship setting. Let's play that line. So let's talk about some chords I can play. So. When I, when I got to that C, I did. Da, da, 
I want to the C. So I'm gonna give you a nice chord you can play on the C. And it's kind of just adding to the adding to the sound. So that's the C and a B flat in my left hand. I don't have to play that B flat. I can just play the C and this will still work. I'm playing the E flat, A flat, B flat, and then I'm playing this uh, E flat. Let's go into another little, I call these motifs, okay? So this is how this sounds. talk about C sharp and D flat we're talking about in harmonics and and, and and the reason why I don't I don't have my I don't have my uh, I don't have my, my, my software set right now in the key A flat that's why it's reading C sharp but you do want to understand that if we're if we're in the key A flat we want all the notes to be flats but I don't want to I don't, I don't want to uh, dive too deep into that so we have this D flat major 7 this E flat major and we'll go to an F minor chord F, A flat, C, F. Okay, so. So, what I did was I transferred those chords in my left hand. And, the, and these are just some, some stuff you can work out for worship. So. And the good thing about what I'm about to show you is that you don't even need to have all of that. You could just play. The uh, D flat and the A flat, if you want to, and you can play the E flat and the D and the B flat, if you wanted to, and the C and the F, if you wanted to. So you can go. I'll do it real slow. And what's and what's making it work is this melody line. Melody line F G A flat B flat A flat ba, 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 ba. I didn't give you that G, it's two G, so it's F G G A flat B flat A flat. So I play it what I'm saying. Another technique I'm utilizing is I'm playing octaves. So I'm not just playing it. But there's a place for that. I, I can do that if I wanted to, but I just like the effect with it like this. And remember that string in that pad underneath that electric piano is really what's really what's ma making this go. So I'm gonna play just the bare bones left hand chords and it's still gonna, gonna sound pretty nice. Let's go 
from from the top and everything I'm giving you just concepts and now you, you can transfer you can incorporate so we, we know the what we're practicing we're practicing worship concepts I gave you this on the one I gave you these two chords I told you to learn them in inversions I gave you this, this melody gave you that on the C then we went to the four This simple little worship concept. Now understand, when I practice this, I'm going to practice this with a groove. I'm going to have this groove going so I can put myself in that moment. I don't, I don't mind playing it w w without a rhythm, but I want to have the rhythm in my head. And my practice time, I also want to have these sounds in my head. So when I get into a worship situation, it's not the first time I'm trying it. You know, I'm working on levels and things of that nature. So let's try uh, the first one. Now let's try a little melodic move I gave you. Excuse me. Let's go to the four. So once I have those bare bones structural concepts, now I can work on other pieces. I, I can work on approaches to, to the four. I can work on uh, approaches to the six, which I won't, I won't cover right, right now because we um, I need to move on to these other two concepts. But um, I just I, I want to give you this. So I don't just, it's not just establishing the what I'm practicing. I'm establishing the how I'm practicing. Um, you know, and that I'm practicing at, at this particular tempo with this particular groove. I'm also practicing with these particular sounds because I'm setting this atmosphere, I'm setting this ambiance. And then I have these tools at my disposal because I can't, I, I can't really practice with strings and stuff if I don't have the software to make it happen. And just real quick, so you know, I'm using the free contact player, but I'm using, using Jamal Hartwell's Gospel Musicians plugin. You can get this plug-in, not just on, um, I actually it's called the MK Sensation. I'm using the MK Sensation plugin, And I have it on Mac, but you can also get it on iPad. And it's, and it's cheaper on your iPads if you get it on, on your iPads. But it's a really good application for you to practice with and for you to explore some of these different sounds that we're using.